Hello, welcome to another 60% camp recording. This time, we're gonna do some programming. Yeah, old timey time. Full of copyrighted music. It's always fun. So, our anendum today. This is a great track, I'm gonna skip it though. Now to some Ape Escape music. Ape Escape! You play that game? It's great! We're not making that game. We're making Rowdy fucking Cannon. Well, not making as much as we are, just heavily modifying it. Oh, I can hardly lift this arm. It's a broken collarbone here. So, ah. It's as high as I can lift it. Okay. So, I have this game called Loudy Dannon, and right now it's just a black screen for now. Um, so what I'm doing is changing it, so now it's like a multiplayer game for one. So that's a revamping of all the controls right now, which I'm in the middle of, it's just sacked. And now I s I'm sacking something else. Just I love just keeping everything open, just bleeding, you know. So we're gonna make it multiplayer, so you can have multiple, you know, your own guys. In case you've never seen this game before, it's a dual stick shooting game. Which okay, I'll go to my functional version right now. Hopefully my controller will function. Yes, it does. So look, you use a PlayStation controller, and he goes around. Look at that. I use these stick to shoot other ones. So, whatever you shoot these guys, they die. It's a low frame rate right now, probably because I'm recording. They're kind of jaggedy. But, oh, the change weapons don't aren't running right now. So whatever, this is all I have right now for the game. There's no storyline, it's just it's bare bones functioning. But it's pretty smooth and it's pretty tight. So that's a delicious part of it. And the graphics are nice and clean. Um, high contrast. So right now it's just, you know, infinite enemies come at you. But I want to make it that... You can have multiple players, so maybe two rowdy guys, at least. Um, right now, HTML can handle six or seven controllers, so I'm only limited to by that. Um, some multiple players, but also a controller or a keyboard controlling the enemies. So basically, um, they would A, be able to spawn them, B, be able to control individual ones, and C, control a boss character, or like turrets or something, that shoot at you. Um, and there could be maybe any amount of on either team, of on the heroes or the enemies. And uh, yeah, I think that'd be a pretty fucking fun thing to experience. So I'm basically... Pro prototyping it as there's a bug right now he's invisible that's my hand um, but I only think that's because it's low frame rate so it skips things sometimes there's too many things running that makes everything break down if you have too many things running you could totally bug this game out like crazy so like I think you can most games if you over you know do the the hardware so that's what I'm gonna work on. Is making this multiplayer. No small feat. I just have to make a my step I'm making I'm working on right now is making a setup screen. So after you hit I should die in any second here. Oh, and it's frozen. Right. I think I fixed that later. I did like a new run where I fixed a bunch of bugs. So this is just a little old. Uh, so I want to go from here, you click, and it says it puts you in a setup screen. 
So that's what this black screen is right now. And I just figured out just how to do that because I didn't really know how to use using Cocos 2D. So this is my setup screen. Yay! Look, it's so small. It's so like clean. So on this screen, I gotta also design this. How it's gonna work work out? I have to design how the player is gonna control the enemy. Well, that's a whole ordeal. And s designing how this whole setup screen works. And playing, I played a lot of games, so I have a pretty good idea. A great reference that I'm inspired a lot by is um, Starwell. Starwell. You have a great setup screen. You get everybody has their own individual thing. You can select a skin, and it's all all user whatever. Um, and mine, I actually want any of the. Uh, okay, this is this is my sketch so far of what the setup screen should be like. So, it just I don't know if you saw anything. It looked like a freaking mess. So I want there to be able to be a. Uh, uh, so basically, you're definitely in the keyboard is gonna be running. So. So you have the mouse capable, and it's like a blank screen pretty much, except it shows you how many controllers or or um, or if the keyboard's active, keyboard mouse are paired together. So you're just like, hey, there are keyboards available. So then you can open up a new like player window. So you um, make those as make as many player windows as there are controllers. And then you just designate which controller, and then within those little boxes, you can edit your controls. You can change your skin only if you're a player, and uh, choose which moves because he gets he'll get an, an offensive move and a defensive move. That's the player. As far as the enemy, you can only just edit your controls. As far as I know, maybe I don't know. Maybe you would choose your type of guys you would spawn. Because that would probably be a factor. See, I don't know how I want them to, like, control the enemies. Because I want them to be able to spawn the enemies, but also change into the enemies. And also use a multiple attacks from one enemy. So it's a lot of stuff going on with that. But I think a PlayStation controller or a keyboard is capable of plenty for that. So, for example, maybe, like... For the uh, for the for the enemy player, for the boss, whoever you're selected, this is move just like Rowdy, and this is shoot direction, and then maybe you can use a directional pad to change which character you're controlling, and then maybe these do your moves. Um, and uh, then these. Can be moves to or they could toggle between. Basically, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with it. I mean, when you're when you're the rowdy cannon character, this is move, this is shoot. Um, these will activate your your moves, your offensive move, your def defensive move, and this will perhaps toggle the level at which you use that move. So right now I'm thinking how those moves work, or how all the enemies, how, how the player works, and how the uh, boss player works is that you get a charge over time and you can use that charge to whatever way you want to. And maybe you can increase the charge using collect up collectibles if you're the player and then maybe if you hit that player, I don't know, different things you could maybe you could experiment with that, make it balanced. Mmm. Sweet sweet cocoa coffee. So, I love just talking design all day. I could just do that all day. So let's actually like make something, huh? So I'm prototyping like a screen. This thing's like, oh, 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 oh god. This is really rough, I tell ya. Um, really, right now, I just need something that's simple enough that I can actually function with. That's not too difficult. So I actually need to make a class, a player class. That's this right here. That holds all the information the player needs. So whether it's a, 
what character it's playing. So team. Um, yeah, that'll be that'll be something. A team. Okay, let's just start with that. So then we need some sort of graphic. I guess. I mean, like buttons and stuff like that. I'm just so hesitant to commit to something here. Let's see if I need a fit. It'd be cool to do customizable boxes, but Cocos 2D isn't really good at drawing objects. I could just use a rectangle. I have that pixel. I have just a pixel as a, as an image. It's ridiculous. The kind of hacks you do that are just silly. Yeah, let's see if I have that pixel. Yep, I see it. I see it. So to make a graphic, I could just stretch out that pixel and make all my graphics. That sounds fun. So. So we'll make another function. This will be a a uh, player window. Okay. Do I need to do commas? I don't think so. Okay. So we'll do like. Right away, we'll do like new player window. Okay. Var. First window. Doesn't matter. Equals new player window. I guess we'll do caps, because that's what you do on functions, I guess. I just follow things. Okay, so I'll make a new player window. And in this window, it's a graphic, so do new, um, or maybe the win. Oh, I can't call it window. It's already used for the real window for JavaScript. Boy, <laughs> oh boy. These and uh, frame. You did just oh that's just made you something too. Window frame. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> I'm make up shit. That's all you do in programming. You just make up stuff. Um, equals cc dot sprite dot create. I forgot the syntax that they use for this. Um, pixel. A pixel. Is that what it is? Where is my resources? I'm a little rusty with this S pixel. Oh yeah, A is for music. None of this makes sense to me at all. This is just bullshit. I don't know what's happening. Okay. So, that's the window frame. Basically, in program, you just create abstract ideas and connect those ideas through data. It's amazing. Okay, this dot window frame. I have to um, give it a position. Dot set position, and then give it a location. So we'll just say, I'm just gonna throw something out there. Eighty one fifty. Sounds good. This dot window frame, or right, okay. Then we go. The player window should be the sprite. Equals that sprite.
Nah, I don't have to extend it. Oops. Oh. <coughs> Woo! Gesundheit. Hey, don't I don't wanna purchase you. Okay. So next. All this controller is just going nuts. It's, it's driving me nuts. Better just silence it. <laughs> it's silenced. It's not yelling at me with its crazy little gleaming lights. <laughs> okay, window frame sprite. Window frame is a position. And now I need to make a being. Window f Ooh, ouch. I broke a clavicle. Window frame dot scale equals like ten. No, thirty. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Not this dot window frame dot. So we'll, in order to make this window, we'll give it a, a position, I guess. Just do that for now. I I don't know how this is gonna really play out. I'm just kind of shooting in the wind a little bit, so. I kind of forget how to program every time I do anything. These jams, though. Sneer you see. I pick my nose all day. And then we need to... See, this is where I'm getting confused. I'm, like, adding, adding this... I guess I need to reference this layer. First. Maybe I can send it the layer. I say set up screen layer. Dot add child. This dot window frame. Okay, let's see if this works. No idea. I always feel like. Oh god! This dot window frame dot scale is not a function. Oh, set scale. <laughs> well, that went pretty far without failing. That's good. So I can't just say scale, I gotta say set scale, of course. Add child is not a function. Of course it's a function. I guess I can add this to this. What I'll do this dot add child first window because it's gonna return window frame. I feel like this is bad coding ethic or something I don't know ethics practice oh there it is it's worked there's a one there's a little frame yes yes you may not seem to think that's that amazing but it is really amazing now we do all sorts of things 
Oh wow, that that works so well. Set color. Is it like I forgot what color is? I gotta find somewhere where I set it the color before. Not here. Did I set here? Okay, set color. CC dot. Okay, we'll just reference. Oops. No. No, undo. We'll just steal this whole function right here. Okay, what is this color? I assign it. Green. That's a great green. Nice. Okay. Making graphics. So we'll do set scale X and set scale Y to make how big we want it. So. I mean, I don't know. What the hell to make it? It looked pretty small. This number just feels right to me. A little bigger than that. A little wider, huh? 120. And we'll just go 180. Oops, there's not even a... That right there. Okay. So that's a player window. Now... I'd rather send it. This is my favorite, favorite line of code ever. Var um, self or that equals this. Variable self equals this. It's just so explicit. So we'll send the self. So we can get the layer here. So then instead of adding it there, we'll add it here. Layer.addChild. Okay, let's see if that doesn't die, kill everything. Of course you gotta test between every iteration. Oh my god, it killed it! Okay, let's see what happened. Layer not edge out. What does it say? It says first window is not defined. Oops. Ha ha ha. Do window frame. No semicolon. That wasn't so hard to make. I was thinking like making a screen and making a window was gonna be so hard. I don't know why. Window frame is not defined. Oh, this not window frame. Of course. Of course, of course. That's so why debugging is everything. Oh yeah, it works. Okay. So right now we just need to make first window so they need to be set to certain players this player class I'm just gonna put it in the setup screen area okay so it has a team And then we need a, an array of players. So we'll do that in here too. Players equals new array. Is that, do I already have players? Yes, I do. So I'm going to delete that. So we need that earlier. Okay. By the way, can you even see this, like, all this shit on here? Yeah, it looks okay. Hi, look at me. Oh god. 
Still a delay. Why is there a delay? How am I gonna make this? I don't know. I, this entertains me very well. I'm hoping one day I'll be famous and then this will be valuable, but I can't guarantee any of that. Maybe nobody will see this. I don't give a shit. It's entertaining to me. So, now that I've established that... Players are rain. So, we'll add a player. Players. Dot push. New player. Yeah, we need to capitalize. Is it, will that work? Layer and player. <laughs> now, if we do for this window, this dot player equals player. Hilarious. So we're just gonna do cc dot log base dot player. So check if it's saving the player. Heroes. Team Hero. Team Boss. That's just... That's just that's gonna be how it is. <laughs> Hero. Oh, kawaii! I can program! I know how to program! It's working! That worked so good, I can't believe it worked! I don't, I'm, I'm just really surprised because I didn't know if new player was gonna work at all. I had no idea if that was gonna work like that. No idea. Look at work! Alright, same as This is going so fast and smooth! I'm so happy! So now I'm gonna make some ways so you can change yourself to player. So the player window. So there's like a button thing that comes with this little framework. So let's find what that is. <laughs> button. Oh god! Menu item. Image. Oh god. Let's find a better, a cleaner example. Is there a buttons test? Why is there menu test? This is what, is. This is what I need. Menu main layer, untouch began, all touches, main layer 2. Also, gonna have to reference. Hopefully, they still have this code. From 2012? So antiquated. Yes, this should be it. So now I just get to see. 
Main new things. Whoa, holy shit. Wow, toggle enable? That's great. Atlas Sprite? It's so weird. Oh. I don't know, it's not very helpful, but... Font item? Menu item sprite? Menu item image? This is just not, I don't know, it just doesn't seem very straightforward. I might be better with my other example. It's not as much stuff going on. Okay. So there's like a label on top of it. Menu item. Yeah, let's just... Copy this. Function player window. Ah! Enable that create. This is what's going to be named. Is a uh, player dot team. Okay, on callback. And menu item image. Um, I guess I should explain... Oh, what the heck? It says it twice. Um, this is just adding the button. Just trying to make, figure it out, make sure it works. Do all sorts of stuff. Use a menu item thing. Oh, God! Add child is where it messes up. Just the item menu? There's no item menu. What is supposed to be the item menu? Okay, I need to make... It's just... Nasty cause. I don't know. <laughs> just messy. It just makes me not... Because I didn't make it. That's why. I mean, I think I did make it. No, I didn't make it. No, I did. I did make it. That's why it's messy. Ha <laughs> ha! X of undefined. Okay, I think I know. I think. I have to say get position. That might make it work. The timing. I need the timing with the webcam. I don't know why the webcam is delayed. It's freaking annoying. Okay. Might not just have enough Z to, to see it. A 
Well, this is not a lair. And then you... We'll just say we'll add it to the lair. Hopefully this makes it visible now. Does it exist? We should have these buttons. Oh, this on menu color. Oh. It's weird that you can't see. Oh, this was where it gets messy. No. Maybe what we'll do is add it to the window frame. This, that window frame. Dumb. Anyways, I can't entertain you forever with this. It's not entertaining. This is, now I'm just like grinding. But I got to explain my design a little bit and you know where I'm going. So maybe I'll update a little bit later when I got something else going on. Some fun stuff. Thanks for tuning in.